Good morning and welcome. I have a beautiful spring DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you step by step how to make this beautiful spring floral wreath. Now this beautiful wreath was made using mostly Dollar Tree items. Let me show you how to make this beautiful spring wreath. To get started on today's project, you're going to need one of the 12 inch wood blend wreaths that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. They have two different sizes. This is the large one. You're also going to need some greenery. So I pulled out this stem. It's just called green foliage. I picked this up from Dollar Tree. Then I also pulled this out and this is just called a variegated leaf pick and I picked this up from Walmart and I just recently picked this up and these were 97 cents. I also pulled out two stems of the lamb's ear 18 inch that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm going to wait until I start filling in my florals to use this and the others I'm going to use to start my base. Here on your greenery to prep these, you just want to pull out the individual stems and trim them. Just like that. I'm going to be using my Sure Bonder glue skillet today. I really like this, especially when working with florals, it makes it very easy. You just want to dip in your end. If you don't have one, you can always just use your glue gun and add some glue. I'm going to start kind of on the outside here in placing my greenery. And I'm going to start here with the fern and I'm going to place one in north, south, east and west. So I have my four pieces in. Now I'm going to move to this greenery and I'm going to go in between each of them and add another four. But this one I'm going to lift up a little bit more on the top of the wreath. And I like to put my stuff kind of all going in the same direction. I can always kind of pull it out and adjust it later. I'm happy with that for my greenery to start. Now I want to place my main florals and they are peonies. These are 18 inch stems. I'm going to cut them down for the wreath, but look at how beautiful that floral is. Nice and big. I even like the greenery. They come with two to three stems of greenery. You can just pop the greenery off. And then here on the floral, they give you several areas where you can trim it. And I do want this to stand out a little bit away from my wreath. So I'm going to come down about two pieces there and then trim the bloom. I will fill in the leaves around it once I get the bloom in place. And I do have three stems. I have my leaves and my florals and I left one even a little bit longer than the other two because I wanted to angle one of the blooms. Now you can play with this for a little bit, kind of stick them in and decide where you would like to place your florals. And if you do want to, if you want to give any a little bit more of an angle, you'll want to leave that a little bit longer. So I like that. I'm planning on placing a bow on this side. 
So something along those lines I like. So I'm going to get these glued in. For your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials used to complete the project. This list also contains where I purchased the materials and just how much I needed for the project. I think that looks so pretty. I pulled these out. Now these are cone flowers from Floral Garden. You can get these at Dollar Tree. I like them. They have several different color combinations that you can choose from. Now on these I always like to push the greenery up a little closer to the bloom. And again, I like working with artificial flowers because you can easily bend them to sit the way that you want. So I have all my large blooms placed. Now I'm going to go in and add a little bit more of the greenery to fill in the sparse areas before I put in my filler flowers. I also have this really pretty floral viburnium. I also picked this up from Dollar Tree. They have several different colors to choose from, but I really like this kind of orange and yellow. I also pulled this out. It is just called a Blossom Fern. I absolutely love this really light, delicate pink. And it also comes with a little bit of greenery here. Now I will probably stick these in separate from the flowers, so I'm just gonna pull those off. When working on any floral arrangement, there's usually a system that I go through when I place my greenery and florals. I like to start with a base of greenery, and then I add my focal point flowers. Once I have those in, I usually add a little bit more greenery, and then I go in with what I call my filler flowers. Once all of my filler flowers are in, I will usually hang my wreath and look at it and decide if I need to add anything to help even out the floral design. This is when I usually go back and add a few more 
filler flowers, and a little bit more greenery to make sure that the overall floral design flows well. I pulled out a little bit of this wildflower in yellow. I liked the small blooms. So I'm gonna add some of this as well. If you're interested in the glue skillet, I did pick it up from surebonder.com. I do have a link in the description box if you're interested. I also have these wildflowers that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Now I'm also going to add some of this baby's breath. I picked this up on Amazon. I like this. It's a really nice little filler flower. I'm really happy with the floral design. I want to add a little bit of a different texture by adding some of the lamb's ear and I may add a little bit more of this greenery. I have all of my florals and my greenery in. I'm very happy. It's so bright and cheery. Perfect for spring and the beginning of summer. Here on the back I did add a hanger. I just wove it in when I decided where I wanted to hang it in which direction. Now this area right here is a little sparse and I did that on purpose because this is where I'm going to put my bow and that's what we're going to work on next. We're going to make the bow now. I'm going to be using my Easy Bow Maker. You're also going to need two full length pipe cleaners. And this is the ribbon that I've chosen. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. This is one and a half inches at 10 yards. I love all those beautiful spring colors. Now I'm gonna measure out my tails here at eight inches, pinch and twist. 
On your tails, the nice side of your ribbon needs to be facing up, but as you come through the dowel rods and you go to make your loops, you want the nice side of the ribbon to be facing down. And I'm going to measure my loops at 5 inches, and I'm going to make three loops on either side at 5 inches. I'm going to add one more loop to this side at 4 inches. And then I'm going to bring it back through this small dowel rod and the large dowel rod here in the front. This just helps me keep a piece on this side for when I tie my bow. And then I can measure out my tails at 8 inches. Take one full length pipe cleaner, slide it down on one side, lift it up. I like to kind of pull it together. And then I push my ribbon down so it's nice and snug and pinch and then lift out. That keeps everything nice and stacked. Now when you tie it, you need to make sure that one little piece of ribbon stays on the opposite side. You don't want your bow to fall apart. Then take your pipe cleaners, pull nice and snug and pull it to the back and give it a good twist or two. Then I always like to hold my bow right in the center. Pull down your tails and adjust your loops. And I want this to be just kind of like a messy bow, so I'm just going to open up my loops, make sure that they're able to open all the way. If you need to adjust it, go right down to where it comes out. Do any adjusting or twisting that you need to there. And that's approximately what your bow should look like. I do my final adjusting and trim my tails once I get it onto the wreath. Now to attach my bow, I'm just going to take the pipe cleaners and feed it around the base here and tie it off in the back. Once you get it attached, trim down your pipe cleaners and then tuck the ends. You don't want anything sharp on the back. And there you go, we're all done. I have my bow on and fluffed out. I left the tails the length and I just dovetailed them. I think that looks so pretty. And I love the mixture of florals. Now you can use whatever florals in whatever colors you have available to you. Same thing with the greenery. But I am so happy with how this turned out. And I really do like these wood blended wreaths that you can get from Dollar Tree. They make doing floral arranging on them absolutely easy. Everything glues in and I think the back looks much nicer than if you use the green foam where you stick the um, florals into that. I think this looks cleaner and nicer in the back and it gives you plenty of spaces to fill in as much florals as you'd like. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. It lets YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching and then they share it with more people and my channel grows. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy craft tutorials and hauls, you're going to want to check out these other videos. Thanks so much. You have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.